Much of the guys in the Manosphere tend to get annoyed and pissed off at the system and women because of the lack of respect out there. But I also notice a lack of respect within themselves too. It's almost like they're, um, it's almost like an annoyance or a reaction towards themselves looking in the mirror. For men, I think largely we can all agree that men really recognize the importance of respect, honor, and self-esteem amongst each other, amongst themselves, what that means for trust, what that means for feeling secure. My disappointment has always been at how little men respect themselves, just as human beings. And that's why whenever I see these Tradcon PUA traditionalists coming up with the argument of telling guys to be proud of putting up with bad treatment directed towards you because you can simply take it. You know, the notion of being proud as a man just because you can take a physical or psychological beating, I don't think is a good standard. I mean, you talk to these um, traditionalists and they'll say, oh, you want a woman? Stop bitching and go to the gym, make money. You know, crush it, bro. Just be everything a woman wants. Quit whining and man up. You know, this is coming from men. And you say to this guy, so you tell your son this to man up for women and it doesn't matter what he wants. It doesn't matter how disrespected he is. And that guy will say, damn straight, just assert your alphaness. Who cares what women want? Who cares how they treat you? Just be the guy in charge. Just wear the pants regardless of who or what you're wearing the pants for. So I'd say to traditionalists, so you're basically saying to your son, put on a superhero costume for everybody else, regardless of how they treat you. Pretend that the relationship you have with your wife, the mother of your child, even though they disrespect you in general today, and not just personally, pretend that it's deep and meaningful. How can someone with half a brain be proud of taking it from people who disrespect him? Why would you be a strong leader for people who dislike you? And these traditionalists, they'll say, damn straight. You know, that's strength to them. Be strong no matter what you need to put up with. Show that you can take a beating as a man and that's a real man. <laughs> They'll say, too right, man up, be tough, a man can take it. Man up for her, man up for society, that's why society's gone down the toilet. And then I'll say, okay then, that's your standard, damn straight, they'll say. Okay, would you give the same advice to your daughter? And then all of a sudden, the evasions start. I say, would you tell your daughter, you know, be a woman and shut up? Who cares about respect towards you? How you feel, your dreams? Woman up for his needs. Wear short skirts, give him sex whenever he wants it. Say yes to anything he wants. Quit whining, snowflake, and submit to your man. Woman up. Oh, well, that's different, he'd say. And I'd say, really? And this really reveals how little men tend to respect themselves today, how unconsciously we've been conditioned and how our fathers and how society conditions us. In light of societal and female hating, debasing, laughing at us, we're either clowns or we're devils. We're supposed to love that. We're supposed to laugh at the idea of self-respect. I'm not talking about being soft. I'm talking about honor and dignity as a man, not embracing and loving people who disrespect you. It really shows how little you think of yourself, that you're willing to teach your sons that you don't need self-respect, that your sense of security comes in respecting somebody to absolutely no standards, respect society and women to absolutely no standards. They can expect a lot from you. Their standards are through the stratosphere. But yours, what are you talking about? You, you expect something from society or women? 
And again, I'd cite the previous example I mentioned where you treat your daughters as human beings worthy of respect and dignity. But your sons, you tell them to not only tolerate unfairness, hate and ridicule, you teach them not to stand up for themselves at all. You teach them that respect is not even a thing. And here's something I believe that I think is important. I think a lot of men view their sons or future sons this way because this is how they view themselves. They're being mirrors to their sons, as in reflecting their values onto their sons, what they're proud of, what they put up with, because their son looks up to them. So yeah, when these alpha traditionalists talk about the mark of a real man is how much he can take from society and women, and that toughness is manliness, that they should love someone objectively who's unlovable, whether it's society or women who ridicule and disrespect him. You're saying love someone who doesn't love you. You're teaching your sons respect someone who doesn't respect you. You're saying live, work and die for someone you know fully well would never even think of doing the same thing for you. But that's somehow okay, you know? It's such a childish superhero posture. Be a male hero who can take a beating. That's respect as a man. Men see themselves as proud doormats. It's 2019 for God's sake. And you know, the traditionalists will always come back with, oh, it's about the species, it's about biology, nature. Bullshit. Even if you look at the animal kingdom, and if you want to reference nature to back up your traditional claims, even in light of the way society is today, especially in the dynamics that these alphas are referencing the animal kingdom, where you know they reference lions or you know apes or things like things of that nature, the male is always respected. So whichever way you cut it, it's not cooperative. It doesn't work when the balance on the scales is tipped almost completely over to the female side. Or vice versa, for that matter. If there's no cooperation, you can't tell me to be proud of getting nothing back. To be, to have a sense of self-respect of getting nothing back. And many in the comments section, you know, over and over again, they'll say, well, if you crack the code of women and you've unplugged from the matrix and you can see gynocentrism for what it is and how men are being used, why do you keep going on about it? When, I, when I'm speaking about these examples, I often use relationships and women because men cannot see anything unless it's calibrated through a woman, unless it's calibrated through relationships. If I want to talk about self-respect, self-actualization, um, deeper, meaningful, existential topics, they don't resonate. They, they come off as intellectual theatrics or some intellectual exercise. Unless I can provide an example or a metaphor through women in relationships, something pedestrian that guys can understand, then they go, aha, I get what you mean, human. That is why I talk to men using relationships as a metaphor and relationships and women as examples to get them to see themselves for once because most guys can't get a sense of themselves, can't get a sense of self-respect if I don't describe women through the example so they can see themselves. Do you understand? So I describe women in relationships and the typical self-abasing man who doesn't even see himself in relationships, that he's worth anything in return, worth any self-respect. When I describe relationships, then the man goes, aha, now I get it. Now I see myself when he's describing me in relation to women, in relation to the goddess, gynocentrism society. Now I see me. Now I think I get it. Do you understand why I keep saying guys have such little self-worth these days? There's very little place for us, yet everything is our fault. I'm just trying to get guys to think for themselves and have a little bit of self-respect. You know, at the very least, what would your mum and dad say if you had a decent mum and dad? I mean, what does it say about men that a lot of them cannot see the points I'm making unless I relate it to women and show the blatant unfairness of women or society? It's like, oh yeah, now I see myself. 
That's unfair. I'm getting upset now. Good. You're standing up for yourself. Most men just can't see themselves or feel much at all, can't feel barely righteous at all, without having the female as a catalyst to feel something through, to feel themselves through. That's how pathetic most of us are. Feel horny, it's because of women. Feel pissed off, it's because of women. Feel free, it's away from women. It's going your own way. Can you see how important it is to realize who you are in relation to the system and women? Not because of them, because of yourself. A lot of men often for the first time. Think of yourself, gentlemen, for once in your damn life and not just in relation to her or through her. Train yourself to pretend she's not a factor, even just as a mental exercise. And the more you do it, it might help. Until you hopefully start seeing yourself. Until you start factoring yourself as a reflex in conversation where you're talked to typically in society or around women or around your other half. And your reflex is, hang on a minute, what about my opinion? The reflex isn't just yes, dear, anymore. You start to see yourself and the reflex starts to be, hang on a minute, I have a right to speak. And so finally, I'd like to quash this, tra this tough traditionalist shaming of, you know, the sign of a real man is how much he can take and how much respect he doesn't need because he's above all that. He's so tough, he doesn't need respect. He doesn't need cooperation. He can take it. He's a superhero. He has no needs of his own. That's the sign of a real man. What you're teaching your sons is to love nothing. And think about it. It's why men care less today. They love less. They're nihilistic today because there's nothing to love. There's nothing to want. There's nothing coming back to them. It makes perfect sense to me. I'm not saying you should be this way because it takes all the energy out of enjoying this life you have before the grave. But it's why men feel so little. They have so, such little drive. It's not just self-respect and, you know, these feminists will shame you like, oh, poor little puppy needs self-respect. No, it's nothing's coming back. There's no purpose because there's no reward. You know, the juice, the squeeze, whatever you want to call it, when it's a one-way street, you can understand why men don't care. I'm saying care about yourself. Really think about it. To really care about anything, you've got to respect it. And... There's very little for men to respect these days. The one thing you can do, the, the one thing you absolutely can do, gentlemen, is start to try and respect yourself and start trying to see yourself. When the world doesn't respect you, try respecting yourself at least a bit. I'm not saying it's easy, but in light of what you're getting with no return, come on. I think a lot of you can agree if there's any chance of feeling better and gaining some respect, it's through men giving it to each other and giving it to yourself. I hope that was food for thought and I'll talk to you later, gentlemen. Feel free to link and share my videos around and don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. If you want to say thanks, there are donation options below this content. I really appreciate it. Cheers.